I started playing with this uh, pick and place machine a couple of days ago. Oh, I lie, it's probably a couple of weeks ago. And I started putting things together. And you do find things that don't always work as expected because it's still in development phase and so on. So I thought, well, I'll, I'm going to try and see if I can help contribute towards the, uh, towards the, the index. Um, so this is pretty much uh, my two cents of contribution towards it. Um, I had a problem getting the pick and place lights to work individually. Uh, now, according to Marlin, if you use that little S parameter, then it's supposed to come and give you the, the lights individually. If you specify S0, it'll give you the one. If you use S1, it will give you another one uh, that's in the G codes. But what I found is it wasn't actually working as expected. So I don't know if anyone else can verify if they had experience with the, the M150 commands working. But for me, I, have, I haven't had that chance to see Marlin out of the box working with those configurations. So what I've done was I had a look at the Marlin code and we've gone around and played around a bit and I got it to work. So just as a small little demonstration um, from me, if I go and we go to the little up camera here, uh, the up camera light, if I just go click on it and you should be able to see the light come on. No, motor's in the way. So we've got this one here as the down light or the up light from the bottom camera looking up. So we can now individually switch them on and off. If I go through and turn on the, the other one from the camera looking down, we can see that we can now pretty much control them separately. So that, that seems to be working as expected. Um, it took a while to get everything working together with Marlin and with OpenPNP. At first, Marlin didn't work, and then OpenPNP didn't work. But uh, you jump around and get things working eventually, um, and then that little inner kid jumps out. And, you know, that... Lately, if, if I get that feeling, I, I just see the picture of, of Stephen just getting so superly excited. I'm like, yay, I'm not the only one in the world. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad there's other people out there that get so super excited about things when, when things actually start working. So, <clears throat> now that we can confirm that these are working and, and so on, that that is great. Um, but for getting it set up in OpenPNP, um, just I'm, I'm going to guess people are looking at this because they're either curious or would also like to know how to get it working. Um, as for myself, um, I had to go and set up uh, the lights as an actuator. So the actuators is located here under the machine setup. If you go to machine, machine setup, there's this little plus sign here. You add that, and it adds one of these, uh, either an up light or the vacuum pump. Um, so if I have a look at the up camera, you go down. And once you create a new one, you pretty much just add in a name for it so that you know what it is. Um, then the next thing is the type of actuator that we're using for this uh, light just to switch it on and off is just a Boolean activator. So a Boolean, for people that don't know, is just either on or off, either one or zero, or either true or false. And we can set those um, in the driver. So going, uh, so nothing else gets set into, into this side here. Um, so you just click apply then and then go over to the drivers and go to your G-code driver and then move over to G-code. In your G-code, you would go and have a look for your 
your camera light that you've specified and then in the settings next to it go over and grab your boolean command for the boolean command uh, we specify the true value that we want to use so that's the value that we wanted to use when it's when you wanted to turn on so in my case here i'm using m150 s1 3255 and then for the false value that we wanted to switch off i use m150 s1 and that switches the leds off again now for the down camera we're using pretty much the same command except for m150 um, s1 we're using m150 s0 to switch that now in the case for where someone would like to go and only use uh, a single actuator for both uh, leds you can still do that uh, just remove the s parameter like so and then you can just use it as is and that would switch off both leds on and off uh, so let me just undo that and then oh, I guess I'm going to have to put it back in again. Uh, let me just apply that again. And then we go over to the console. And just to demonstrate, if I go M150 uh, R255, you see that I, can, I have both of these that's turned on now and then if i go back and just put in m150 it will turn off the both these neo lights if i add the s0 r255 it will turn on the one light and we can turn that off again And if we change that to S1, it will turn on the other one. And removing that, we'll turn it off again. So we are able to control these two individually if we want to, but we can still also control them both at the same time as it was in Marlet. I would like to know what you guys think. Um, I love doing these type of things, trying to figure out things to work, and um, I really like being part of uh, the index project. Um, I really hope I, I will be able to contribute more. Um, yeah, I think that's it from my side. This was a very short stream. Um, this is my first stream, so I'm, I bet there's many mistakes that I've made. Please be nice. Anyway, leave a comment below, and um, see you next time.